Hey guys, welcome back to the F90 channel. I'm Chris, and this is the 2021 CLA 254 Matic. We're gonna be doing an in-depth interior review of this car and looking at all the buttons and switches and seeing what all the menus are all about. And if you guys are in the market for Mercedes-Benz, make sure you guys take out, check out Rick and Tina Mercedes-Benz of Edison and mention F90 and go talk to Alan. They'll be sure to hook you guys up. And they're the ones who provide this vehicle for us to review today, so a big thank you to them. Okay guys, so let's get into it. What do we have on the interior here? Well, starting off with door. So we have the frameless window here, which goes down to this weird rubber thing, which I mentioned on the exterior review, weird material. And then we also have this leather on the top here, which kind of smooths down, kind of curves down this way, which is really nice. And then we have contrast stitching, which is good to see because it just kind of breaks up the color a little bit. And then we also have the alarm here. So the stitching is here, and they also have like a, the actual stitch itself is in the middle there. So I guess you have like that triple stitching going on and it curves down here. And this is a uh, somewhat soft, it's not as soft as uh, let's say the E-Class or definitely S-Class or anything like that, but this is still, it's semi-soft. It's, it's, it doesn't go down much. It, it really doesn't feel that soft to be completely honest, but it's still nicer than sort of the fake leather stuff they put down here, but this is, this is really nice. Then you also have this other lighter leather here on the bottom, which this is actually, this is Macchiato Beige MB Text. So that's this part that's over here. And we also have a wood trim on this side, which is natural grain brown walnut wood trim for the CLA. So it has nice grains in there too. You can feel that, so it's really cool. And then moving across, so this is a different design than you see usually in the higher end models from Mercedes. You still have sort of the same seat controls here, which I'll get into, but they're obviously missing the, the other uh, supports such as the headrest or the little um, uh, foot extension part here. So that's why it kind of looks a little basic, but you still have the memory. So you have one, two, three person memory for the seats. So you can just select which one you want and then put in memory and then that will be saved in the car. If heated seats, and this should be the placement, we have a blank right here, but this should be for the ventilated seats as well. Okay, then moving down, we have this nice aluminum metal feeling handle, which is cool, very nice. And we have plastic here on the inside, the unlock lock, this is all plastic here. Okay, and then the same sort of letter down here. This is actually much softer. So I have a feeling that, yes, if you touch this part here, it's actually much softer than this harder leather up here. Soft, and then we also have a, a gray deviated stitching here, but no stitching in the middle like there is on the top here. A nice touch that I like in this car is this, this metal handle here. So you could grab onto this when you're opening the door, and this is, this is really nice. It's the same sort of material, material as this here. It's very nice. Okay, and then we also go to the, the door controls here. So you have your lock for the windows, uh, your window switches here, as well as your mirror switches and to close the mirror or, or use the left or the right mirror is over here. This is actually plastic, so it's not that metal they see again in the E-Class or higher classes of cars. A nice little aluminum trim on the outside. And moving down here, we have that, yeah, this is definitely like a, it's supposed to look like leather, but it's actually like that plastic material is actually up here too. This is leather. We have our red light here, speaker. And then we also have our trunk, which opens up, but does not close down itself. A little uh, metal trim on the outside too. So here what we have is we have a place for a drink and we also have some storage here. And then we also have a storage all the way in there. I know that on some, actually, I recently found out on some European models, actually, that's where the, the jacket is. So you put on a high visibility jacket and that's where actually they stow it in over there. So when you're changing a tire or something, but decent amount of storage here. Down here, we have our side sill. So Mercedes Benz, and this is all raised. So it feels, feels nice. Pillar here. So yep, this is that, uh, that material I was talking about. This is actually hard, but this is actually soft. So that's the part that's uh, in contact with the door. Okay, and let's take a step inside. So inside the car, um, I like these seats. These are power adjustable seats with lumbar as well as memory, as I mentioned before. These are that nice macchiato beige sort of color. And I know we don't have a power foot adjust or I guess leg extension adjustment, but we do have a manual one. So you just press that and it extends out and you move it back inside. So let's take a closer look at these seats. Taking a closer look at these seats, we have starting up here in the headrest, it's pr pretty plain, but we do have that button, which I like very much. It kind of extends the seat out corner of like this in a, in a curve sort of setting. And you can raise them by pressing this button here. And we come down here, we have this de deviated stitching here. So one, two, three, kind of makes it four sections going down. Kind of gives it a, a different sort of look as well as the stitching here on the side. 
And again, we have that lumbar support, which you could adjust here. And then we also have this three section here as well. And here's actually your buttons for your lumbar. So up, down, and then in or out is here. And then the manually adjusted foot extensions are here. So you just press it, Oop, comes out. And you could put it back inside the same way. Okay, seat belt there. And on the bottom here in the foot, we actually have these nice mats. This is a interesting sort of rest for your foot. And they also have, uh, this is actually, if you notice, this is rally style mounted. So it's top mounted, it's not mounted to the floor. Um, but you do have a kick down pedal in the back there. And this is sort of like a rubberized brake material, similar to that E-Class. And this is just a plastic. And here we also have our dead pedal as well. Here I have a release for the trunk. Covering the seats really quickly. Here we could just press forward. And our seat will go forward, press backwards, our seat will go backwards. If we tilt it up, our seat will tilt up, tilt down, the seat will tilt down, and tilt the back down, the back will tilt down. Press here, this will come forward, if you press back, it goes back, then you press this. Uh, I guess that's it for this, it's just forward and back. And then the lumbar support is here, so you go up again, and then in and out. So inside the CLA, it's actually a very nice place to be, even though it's just, some people might say just the CLA, but this is very, very nice. So again, this is all the controls that we went through with the door. This is our A-pillar, has that interesting scratchy sort of material, feels like a, like a vest headliner, which is, which is really soft. And then moving this back to that material, again, that vest type of material here, the windshield. Okay, so starting off here on the driver's side, we have our, our air vents, which this looks really cool. This looks like a turbine or something. It's very, very awesome. So you can turn it like that to on, or I guess this is on and this would be off. And, but this is really cool material. You can move it up, down, left, right. And then of course we have that piano black. Actually, it's not piano black, it's like matte black on the back here, but it's piano black on the outside. So that's really cool. Like how the leather goes kind of around, around it here. That's really neat. Okay, and then we have the entire dash covered in that same sort of leather. It's this type of leather. It's not that softer leather here, but leather here, speaker, and it goes all the way across. And you have one for the passenger too, but it's cool to have that stitching all the way across like that. Really neat. This is sort of interesting because it's almost like a bulge. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's not flat or anything. It just, it comes up here and then it bulges out and then it wraps itself in again. So we have here, there's the piano black material. This is interesting. It's like a, it's like a rubber, white rubber sort of material. That's the best way I could put it. And it comes all the way across here from the right behind the vents here and then wraps around and touches here. So it's not really something you're as a driver going to touch, but maybe the passenger might, but it's, it's semi soft again like this, but it's like a, like a rubber texture to it. So it's really weird. It's also like it has perforations, but anyway, so you have this bolt here, which looks really cool. It makes it feel like you're sitting in something completely different from Mercedes, to be completely honest. You have your um, electronic parking brake here. And then we also have our, our lights. So leave them mostly in auto, but then you have high beams and you have the fog lights and then the parking lights. Okay, then you have your fogs as well as the display, how bright you want the display to be. So this is all right here. Really cool. Actually, it's a really neat look for the, for the CLA. Okay, so moving on to the steering wheel. So this steering wheel, I was very pleasantly surprised. Actually, this leather is the softest out of all of them that I've mentioned. Out of this, out of this, um, if you can see, I press down. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but this is the softest type of leather. Since you're gripping this all the time, it's a very soft leather. So you're never going to be wanting, you know, better quality. This is, this is really soft. It's really nice. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. The wheel's really nice. I'm sorry, the steering wheel's really nice. You have the stitching here on the inside. We have the small little thumb rests here. So when you're driving, just a little bit indented out. So it's really cool. Okay, and you have a Mercedes symbol here in the middle, as well as that plastic here. You have those nice metal trim on the outside, which wraps around. It was actually this part on the bottom here. And here you can see it has like that concave design in there. And this comes out and this is like a pass through. So this looks really cool. No flat bottom, just completely circular, but still very nice. And on the left here, I'll go and I'll use these to kind of go through all the menus, but we have a piano, piano black, we have return. This is our touch button. We go left, up, right, down, and then you could click it as well. Our home button is our cruise control. So on, off, set the speed, lower the speed. Uh, this is to match the speed that actually the, the car reads. So if the speed limit is 25, it'll read 25, and it goes into a 50 zone, it'll speed up to a 50. On this side, this is what controls this right uh, screen here. So we have our home, the same capacitive touch button, return, the MBOX, our favorites, volume up and down, 
uh, or, and then you can press it in order to mute it, pick up a call and end the call as well. So we have here our screens and these are, they actually seem smaller than the ones in the E-Class and they kind of go down in there as well. I think the E-Class are just a tiny bit bigger, but the, they're still very, very nice. Here, this is where things get a little interesting. Um, I've never seen a stock like this from Mercedes. Uh, this is a plastic stock, but it's completely different. It has this nice uh, groove on the inside here, kind of goes here, but this is gonna be your windshield um, washer, I guess this is which windshield washer flows through press that and starts washing the uh, windshield. And this is gonna be your wiper, so up all the way down. And then this is off, so that's interesting. You also have, you see here, a uh, heated steering wheel. So this is off, and then you click that way for on. So interesting there. And this is actually a manual adjustable. So you just press down on this and then you can move the steering wheel up or down however you like. And then you just lock it in place. On the right side here, you have here, this is really interesting. Um, I haven't seen those one again either. So you press this for park, just kind of on the other, like the newer Mercedes too. And then up half step for reverse, down half step for neutral, and then all the way down for, for drive. And this again has that groove in there as well. And then I don't know if you guys saw because initially when you get in the car, you don't see them, right? Where are the paddles? Well, they're actually there. They're just very, very small. And here is your, your downshifts as like a nice little metal uh, cut out there for the, um, for the uh, downshift or for the minus star. And this is here for the plus. So that's really cool. So they're very, very small as you can see them here. And then this is that's how big they are. And that's about it. So you can still press them when you're holding the steering wheel like this. You can still press them. Um, but we kind of just hidden away from plain sight. So again, I mentioned the screens. So moving down here, this is actually your engine start uh, button right here. And this is how you turn on the car and turn it off. This is your auto start stop button. So you press that. And then you have these three vents here. I think this is a really cool design. Very, very nice that they have the little cutouts here. I think it gives it a, a unique look, you know, um, compared to all the other models. Um, so this is really nice. So you could line them up if you want to. You could, you know, <laughs> have OCD and you're gonna have to switch them all, but. Let's put them back into the middle position. Uh, so that's really cool. Piano black here. So this almost looks like if anyone's ever tuned their car, they have those gauges where it kind of just comes out out of the molding like that. And you put a gauge here. That's what it feels like. It's really cool. I really like this. Like it bulges out. Does it feel claustrophobic? Um, from the driver's seat, not really. It might look like that on video, but this whole thing is bulging out. It looks really cool. And then it kind of like seeps in the back. Oh, see, there's like a little ledge here. So it seeps back into there. It's really interesting. This is really, this is again, really different. Um, so you have those controls, kind of how your uh, dynamic select is here, uh, you know, to heat up, cool down. So you have that audible click, really nice. You have your uh, AC menu, your fan speed, uh, auto to turn on AC, your defrosters for the front, your hazard lights. Really cool that it lights up like that. Okay, the rear heated, uh, rear uh, defrosters, you're circulating the air. AC on, sync, um, driver and passenger, and this is the driver selection right there. And this is our little sticker. Okay, and then we have, there's no enclosure here or anything that you could slide, it's just the storage space, so it's a good amount here. I have a bottle of water, so you guys can kind of see what that looks like. Okay, then you have our 12 volt right here, interesting spot. Uh, then you also have your uh, USB-C, everything being USB-C now. You have our cup holders here, so again, put the cup here. This cover is actually almost about to half. So if you're turning, it's not gonna move around too much. Maybe if it moves this way, it'll, it'll kind of move that way when you're driving. But again, Mercedes kind of has, if it was a couple that was up to here, I think that'd be really nice. So they should have make them a little bit deeper, but. And as the other cars you have, you just press that there. And then, oh, let me press that. There you go. And that's, I guess, holds it a little bit better in place. <laughs> Interesting. And there you go. So then. If you have a bigger bottle of water, you could just do it that way. And then I don't think you could take these out. I don't see a button to take these out. I think they're just there how they are. Okay, then moving down, we have our dynamic select. So to go through all the different modes, you have a blank, vehicle select, favorites, our touchpad with return, moving the stations and home, our volley button up and down, as well as to turn it on or off, our navigation and map, radio, media, and telephone is all there. And what's interesting is with this one, they actually give you the little rest here. So a lot of the newer cars that come with the new touchpad actually don't, don't have this, not that I've seen anyway. So you actually have it here and you could rest it here. So some cars, you, you really just don't have this rest anymore. Remember, this is kind of like how they had the old scroll wheels on the bottom here for Mercedes and they used to like turn them and then press the different buttons. So that's, that's really, really neat. And then here again, we have our uh, center console, 
So this is a plastic button, like almost on, on everything. This is also plastic, so you press that. Opens up very nicely. Take all this out. Okay, then we have a USB-C in here. This is actually a good amount of space. So if we use the bottle of water again, can you fit a bottle of water? You can. That's how much space you have in there. So let's start going through all these menus. So foot on the brake, pressing the start. All right, there you go. I'm just gonna turn that off. It's the new chimes. We also have our ambient lighting here, which is, I love this color. Whenever they show me Mercedes with interior color and this is like deep blue, purple color, awesome. So it goes across here. We have a little bit here and then it joins up here as well. What's really cool is it actually kind of comes out on the bottom here. If you guys can see that, that's really neat. And it's on the bottom here as well. So that looks really cool. And then uh, you actually don't have it in the rear. You just have it here in the front. That's really cool that it comes out of here. I'm sure that looks really, really cool at nighttime. So anyway, what do we have here? Okay, so let's start with the home button. Let's go to assistance. So you have the assistance there, but again, like I mentioned in the other videos, the actual distance set isn't here. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what this is used for. I think it's just for the sensors and it's a menu that you could play with, but you actually can't set the distance, not that I've seen here. It's just for the cruise control and for the actual speed that the car is, uh, is going. But that's really it. So let's go, uh, do you have another menu in here? Yes, we do. And that is gonna be the full screen display, which I really like. Oh, here we go, we have attention. So we don't have uh, the attention, well, right now system is suspended, but we don't have the attention level set here. This is the one that um, kind of monitors your driving and tells you to pull over. If you need to relax, you need to take a break when you're driving long distances. Here we have display. So if we do a full screen display for this, there it is. I think that's the coolest thing. Still looks really cool. Okay, and we go back. All right, and we go to phone. So again, ready for Bluetooth pairing. Navigation, navigation is unavailable right now. We haven't put anything in yet. Our trip information. So this car has 40 miles. We could put a, a miles per hour here if you want to, if you're driving, that's how you want to do it. Consumption information is all here. And also your the charge. Okay, and uh, this is the bonus miles you get either from acceleration from staying constant on the throttle or from coasting. Okay, this is your average MPG as well as your average speed from the start and there should be one from reset. Yep, exactly, for, so from reset when you should reset it. So if you wanna monitor a trip and then also your full screen display as well. That's really cool. So that gives you everything. So if you're driving on a long journey, you wanna hypermile it and you wanna get the best MPG possible, just leave it on this screen. You can monitor everything at the same time. So very, very cool. Our radio. You can select stations that way. Media, which we don't have anything connected, but it could be USB as well as uh, Bluetooth as well. Okay, so let's look at the design. So this is classic, kind of a classic design we normally have from a car. So you have the miles per hour on, uh, on one side, and then you have the revolutions on the other side. So sport, let's see what that looks like. Yep, so the same sort of colors where everything becomes darker, then you have the yellow accents, make everything look really sporty. It's a really cool, and you have the red also on the, on the needles there. Progressive. Okay, which uh, this is what it looks like, and if I'm revving it. Very interesting look, really crazy look actually. <laughs> okay. And then understated, which is just that. And while I'm going through the menus, actually, this changes the actual main menu itself over here as well. So if I go, let's say to sport, I have a sporty sort of background. And let's say if I go into progressive, I have like a background that matches the actual display that's here. So let's put it into classic yep and then everything's blue just like it was before okay and then our last one should be our service which has interesting information so this is probably going to be the back yeah the left backrest i'm gonna to have to do that i'm gonna to have to latch it great tires so it gives us our tire pressure while driving assistant plus so it's going to tell us when the service is due and i also have coolant coolant level and then also our engine oil level which is good 
All right, so on top of that, actually let's go to leave this on trip. So let's mess with the actual um, screens here on the left. So if I go to the, I'm sorry, the ones on, yeah, on the left. So I could swipe up and that goes to USB, goes to the route from reset, from the start. And then we also have a clock here on the left. Then we have our MPH there, so we're not missing any information. If we go up again, then we have our, uh, our miles per hour. Okay, and if I go over to the right, so we have the RPM. Let me go, there we go. You can see a little dot show up on the top right, so we know we were in that screen. So you have a consumption info there. We could have the eco display there for constant accelerate, um, getting the, the most MPG out of your car. So if you're constantly if you're accelerating or if you're coasting, swipe down. There we have the actual navigation, it looks pretty insane. Just click it. <laughs> so really cool. And then we also have the distance as well. So I'll move everything back to the actual normal settings that we have. Okay, so now going through the menus here, we have our home button, which you could just press and go to our home page. We have the profiles, which you can set up. So we can have a guest profile, we could have a different profile so then the car actually learns uh, your driving style. We have our general settings here. So we could show your profile selection when getting in. Okay, so then move, and then we have our search. We could search for something within the system if we want to. And we also have our time as well as connection as well uh, there and then any notifications that come through text messages calls or anything about the car is going to be here we also have a trash so you can move the notifications if you need to and this is the settings here so allow notifications display and notification center show notifications and acoustic notifications are all there and then we have our temperature here on the bottom and the bottom right for the passenger so moving across, and so now uh, looking at the phone, so we have no device connected, but we could have up to two phones actually connected, and we could connect the device. We could search our contacts if we have a contact. We have our keypad here. We also have pairing for devices. And we have our setting here. So device manager, your devices, which you could go to. Connect new device, name format, how you want the names to come up, import contacts, and also delete contacts are all there in the phone. And these are just the hotkeys, so if you press them, they go quickly to contacts, or uh, this one is going to be your setup for your Bluetooth. Let's swipe and go across. We have a radio, so you press the radio, turn that off. We have uh, how many presets? It should be 20. Yes, we have 20 presets that we could do. We could search for a station. We click that. We could also have um, stations list here. Emergency warnings are here. Okay, and then we, this is just turn on or off the sound. We have HD here, so if you have Sirius radio, this is gonna say Sirius here. And then we also have our settings. So equalizer, balance fader, and volume are all here. And that's for sound. Let's check out the general, the general settings. So, if, yep, that's what it is. General settings is all there. And then change station in the background. And there you go. And again, the presets are there for playing the music or uh, this should be just the equalizer stuff. Yes, exactly. Medium, nothing is connected, but you can add a device. You could either do Bluetooth or you could do USB. So it's all there. And again, you can search for music. Uh, the plays for music is there. Play the music, your pairing, as well as settings, which is just going to be the same sort of settings as you have in the radio. Comfort. So let's see what we have for comfort. We have the seat kinetics. So seat kinetics we learned from the E-Class, which is uh, it moves the seat up and down. It moves the lumbar here and there. It extends the, the seat rest. Uh, no, actually, no, it doesn't because the seat rest is manual. But it moves the seat up and down and kind of uh, move the seat forward and back just to kind of give you more blood flow and have something happening in the seat when you're driving longer distances. So then it helps out with that. So you turn that on with this. And then you also, oh, let me go back here. Yeah, and this is what you could select. So you could select either the backrest and the seat surface move or just the backrest or just the seat surface and what duration you want, short, medium, or long for this. And this is coming from um, customers wanting more comfort from the Mercedes. So you also have one for the passenger side as well. And the ambient lighting is here. So let's check out the color. So the multicolor one. So these are the same multicolor that we usually get from other Mercedes. So ocean blue, purple sky, red moon, fire red, Dawn Blue, Sun Yellow, Jungle Green, Glacier Blue, Color Flash, and Color Mix as well. Let's put Ocean Blue, which is really cool. But if you take out multicolor, you can go here and you can just mess it so you can put it to red if you want to. And then now that's red. I know it doesn't come out that well, but... Oh, actually, no, there we go. Now it's red. 
or it should be. Let's go back to, to blue. With a little bit of blue. There you go. Blue comes out really nice here. And go back to multicolor. And you have uh, animations. Do you want it at the welcome? And do you want climate? So if I go up, it's going to be blue. If I go down, I mean, sorry, if I go up in temperature, it's going to be red. And if I go down, it's going to be blue. So that's that's really it for our comfort setting. It's just those two menus for comfort. And those are the two um, presets for that. Info. So we check info. We have our vehicle. Information, so we have acceleration, so how much we're accelerating, and brake, look at that. <laughs> and you can make it full screen as well. And then you also have your turning angle, so you can see how much, oh, there you go, see, it works right when I turn the steering wheel, really cool. So back to vehicle, Let's check out engine. So you have performance, you have horsepower there, you have your engine temperature, uh, you have the battery voltage there, um, the boost, uh, torque, engine, uh, sorry, transmission temperature, and then the change in pressure or the boost, uh, which I mentioned before. Consumption. Which, oh, there you go. Actually, let me do the. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's go to consumption. Here's a consumption, which you can mess with, and you can see how much over time, so over 20, 10, 20, or 30 minutes. And you also have your operators manual here as well, and the presets. You have the apps, uh, browser. You have URL, the bookmark, exit, and settings, but this just takes a little bit to get into. You have your smartphone, original device, and then also the Mercedes Me app is here. Settings. So this is where you turn off your ESP. So off for you know launch control and stuff like that. <laughs> Let's turn it on for now. Assistance, so you have active braking assistance. So do you want it early, medium, late, or off? Attention assist, do you want it sensitive, standard, or off? And blind, plot, blind spot assist, on or off. It's cool they give you the graphics here on the right side and you can kind of check it out. Does it uh, do the, let me see if it does the thing. Uh, maybe if you go to vehicle. Sometimes you click on this thing, you're able to like uh, turn the vehicle around. You're able to pick the different systems that way. Uh, dynamic select here. So the different modes that we have here. So if we go to individual con configuration, we can do either eco, comfort, sport, or manual. Steering, comfort or sport, and ESP, comfort or sport. And you could also have that to be requested at the start as well. Automatic seat adjustment, so easy entry and exit is there. Rear view camera. Oh, damn. So we actually do have the rear view camera there. I actually checked in the exterior view if it was there or not. And I wasn't able to see it, but it's always like a half step uh, there. So there's the camera actually right there. It's just like a half step open and it comes out of that system right there so we're just gonna remove that acoustic lock automatic door lock automatic folding and there's also a standby mode so for lights we have ambient lighting which is gonna go back to the same menu that we were oh, that we were in before when we were looking at all the different comfort uh, features exterior lighting delay so how long do we want the delay uh, when we turn off the car and how long do we want the lights to stay on interior lighting delay daytime running lights and also locator lights so there you go and also locator light is there on the side and then system itself, we have the design and displays, which is the same menu we went through, but there's different designs, the display brightness, display off, and also do you want the day and night to be automatic or not. Controls, so keyboard and handwriting, touchpad sensitivity, so you can select different keyboards here, English, RNG, French, Dutch, Italiano, Italiano, Italian. And read out hand recognition, and so then it'll read out your handwriting recognition. So recognition. So if you write an O, the system will say O. If you write a T, it'll say wrote out a T. Touchpad sensitivity, fast, slow, or medium. Touch control sensitivity as well. Touchpad tap, and then haptic feedback. So that's just the clicking. And then acoustic, acoustic operator feedback as well. So how do you want it to be loud, normal, or off? Linktronic. So this is the voice activation. So if you say, Hey Mercedes. How can I help? MBUX is there as well. There's online voice control. Okay. Online voice control subscription deactivated. Contact us for online use and speaking during voice output. Okay. And that's just the linktronics for the MBUX. And then speak during voice output. So when you talk to MBUX, it will speak. Um, how, how can I help you? So we turn that off. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Because oh, it's still on. Speak during voice output. Okay. And that's really it for this one top part of the menu. If we swipe down, if you guys saw that swipe down, we have the different setting themes here. So you have trip, 
if you put it to sport, it has a sport experience here, efficiency, lounge, standard, you create a theme. Basically, when you pick a theme, so let's say if you go on a trip, you pick this one, it puts everything in the car in a trip sort of setting. So it's in a comfort sort of mode. So the menu is everything. So if I click, let's say sport, oh, sorry, let me go to sport experience. It says, please wait. See, it changes that gauges here. It puts this into the information you need from the engine. So the performance, the torque, the horsepower, and then also gives you the gauges here. So it's just a quick way to select a certain theme for your type of driving. And that's all there. So even efficiency is there and everything is going to be in hyper miling if you're going for a long trip. You could also swipe down again. So swipe up, sort of themes, swipe down is for the favorites and then you can set up assistance uh the sound display off operates mount and create a favorite as well and you could also put it in different order so again this new mbox system is kind of like a phone where you can just kind of drag when you hold it here and move it to different places wherever you want and then click okay and that's really the menu guys so that's the covering the driver's side as well as the main menus here so looking up top we have our sun visor here light our holder for, for our cards we have a mirror here, close that. We could also unclick that and then move here. Then, nope, it doesn't move. So it's just in that spot. We have a speaker here as well. Our mirror, which looks frameless, which is really nice. And, okay. And then we also have this, which is a really nice design. It's really, it's really different than what you see. Usually have the lights here coming across horizontally. So we hit the reading light that comes here from the bottom. So there's also one on the passenger side here as well. So that's what this button does over here. If I hit the main light, all these come up very nicely done. In person, they actually look uh, not yellow. They look uh, whiter than they do here in this in this um, in the video. We have our SOS, which is oh, it's not even a cover. Actually, no, it is a cover. <laughs> it's not a red button. It's just a clear button. So we don't want to press that because it's not red. If it was red, I want to press it. But that's really cool that it kind of flips out like that. So let me close this actually. I'll show you guys the sun slash moon roof. So this is what it's like closed. It's like this cloth material material, and the sun doesn't really get through. And then if you press it all the way down, I mean all the way back, it's one touch. It rolls back all the way there. So all the way halfway through where the passengers are seating. Are, are seating. So when you're sitting here, you have this really airy space. It almost feels like you're in a convertible in a way so very cool and then you could press up to tilt and you can hold that press it all the way and then that closes a little bit wow it's a really neat design so it only opens up a little bit and then uh it's actually sticking out of the car so if i open up if i come outside That's what it looks like. Okay, and then if we press it all the way, it's gonna close. And then close this one as well. So the rear door, again, we have that frameless design, but this is actually intruding here in the middle of the, of the window. So if you press the window down, it's just that one part of the window goes down. One touch up and down. We have that same leather that we had in the front as well with that DBH stitching with that middle stitch in the middle there. That soft leather in the middle with that plastic here. Metal door handle, lock, unlock and lock. That metal piece again echoing in the front. Our window switch. We also have storage in there. And a speaker. So then climbing inside. I'm six feet tall, so if I'm sitting in front, and that's a pretty loungy sort of position because it's almost coming back here, I have this much space, so about three fingers, uh, about three fingers here. But the pr thing is, it actually, this part swoops up, so I could put my, my feet actually underneath here, and I could move here, and uh, I'm sitting all the way back now. Uh, it does slope down, so actually when I'm touching the part, I might, yeah, my hair is actually touching the part of this, so if you might be a little bit cramped if you're six foot and someone in front is actually tall and driving, you might be just a tiny bit cramped. we back left here with the, with the net. Same thing for the passenger side. We have a reading light here, so if we press that, the light turns on. You can also press this, and a nice little hook comes out very slowly, and that's actually really cool. <laughs> and we have our headliner here. It's the same material as it is in the front. Here we have little vents, but they're actually the black ones. So it's really cool. Different design here than they are silver in the front. Really awesome. And then USB-C is here. 
And that's uh, trying to make sure this thing doesn't open, but no, I think that's it. And that's just the space if you want the other option to get the 12 volt, but that's what that is there. We have our pass through here. We have our seats as well as the isoflex, which are not, you yeah, know, I guess they're not there. Isoflex here just for the mounting of the, the child seat. We have our small headrest here. And then if we pull on this, there we go. And if you press these, that's where our cup holders are. Boom. There we go. Close that up. And then we have more space back here for the top tether for that. And the rear, actually, this kind of protrudes here. So you don't have, from the rear, it kind of looks a little bit more claustrophobic, to be completely honest, because, again, you have the swooping roof line, so it is kind of hitting your head here when you're sitting back here, as you can see, because it swoops down, so it's not as straight. Uh, but that's just, it, it, it's the shape of the car that's there. Um, and then this is the seats, kind of echoing the, the same part of the seat. You have a nice little bolt here kind of help with your with your seating so it's not just completely flat it's just kind of level curves off like that and then you have manual adjustable headrests as well so opening in the trunk back here we just press there it goes up we have our light here a little handle here to grab onto this is all felt here this is the little button that you press in order to open the trunk if you're trapped inside that design where it kind of just comes and curves in inside so it kind of takes away a little bit of the trunk space there. We have a lot, you have a deep pocket here, kind of moving into the left as well as the right. We could put some additional stuff. I have my stuff here. They're also folding seats as well. But you can see I have my stuff here. Again, the same sort of handles. You, you unlock these and then you could fold the, the front seats. You have a hooks here for any kind of cargo net area. But that's kind of what it looks like. I just have my stuff right there. And then moving stuff away, if I want to lift up, that's where my uh, tow hook is. And this should be all the other materials that we have. So this is going to be our first aid kit. This is our license plate holder, so we have more stuff to store down here. And that's really it, guys. Sitting now in the passenger seat, we have the same sort of design. Heated seats with the blank for the possible ventilation seat. I see the adjustment here. Memory with one, two, and three memory. And the same sort of door that we have in the front, the same storage space. The same bulging material. So now we can get a better look at this. It kind of really bulges out like that. It's this weird rubber sort of material. And then we have the ambient lighting back here that comes out with that wooden trim piece that comes across and wraps into the door. Now our glove box, unlock it there. You have actually a decent amount of space. And this should be uh, it's interesting that it just kind of comes out like that, but I guess you could put something in there as well. And it's actually a deep amount of uh, space. This is kind of closed off, but that's what we have. And of course, the window sticker, which is the last thing we're going to do. So, 2021 CLA 254 Matic. Performance, this is a two liter inline uh, force uh, turbo engine, 221 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. Convenience, we have the sunroof. Everything's pretty much standard in here. 64 colors of ambient lighting. Four year warranty. Okay, and then moving on to the actual options of the car. So it's 39850 before options, and then we have the polar white color, so there's nothing there. Macchiato beige, no charge for that. And natural green, brown, walnut, wood trim is actually 325 And then optional equipment and value packages added. Keyless Go package, hands-free, is actually $800 to have the Keyless Go. Just so you guys see that better, there you go. Uh, the multi-spoke wheels are 18 inch, are actually no charge. Heated steering wheel is 250 Heated front seats are 500 And the USB-C adapter cable, which came inside in the center console here, is 500 I'm sorry, 25 <laughs> Imagine 500 bucks for an adapter cable. It's $25 for adapter cable. All-season floor mats are here, rubber, which is what we're sitting on, which I showed before, is 160 The DP1 uh, premium pack, so that's the 10 and a quarter uh, inch center display and the 10 quarter inch digital instrument cluster, which is right because the 12, it's actually 12 and a half, I believe for the, for the E classes. So that's why it does look a little bit smaller here in person. 
auto dimming rear view and drive side uh driver's side mirrors and side mirrors with power fold them, which is nice because if someone has, is driving with their LED, LED bar behind you and it automatically just dims it for you, which is really nice. And then obviously your destination and delivery. So in total, this car is 44,160 as a suggested retail price. Uh, here we go, it was 27 MPG combined. So 24 in the city, 33 on the highway. Damn, 33 on the highway, whew. <laughs> Imagine that, <laughs> I've never seen that number before, okay. Annual fuel cost is 1800 and you can see everything else here as well. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the in-depth interior review of the 2021 CLA 250 4Matic. Uh, we're also going to be doing in uh, driving and how it feels driving review of this car. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And we'll see you on the next one.